Serbs are crazy. Uh, ended up staying out till five in the morning last night at some dump club here in uh, Belgrade, which is a beautiful city, by the way. And we are actually going to a Serbian gun store here in Belgrade, right behind me. Vlad, how do I say this again? Aruze. Yeah, that. That's where we're going. We're going to go inside. We're going to talk to him about Serbian gun laws, about what it's like to run a gun store in Serbia. Maybe go back to the hotel, take a nap. Let's check it out. Hi, my name is Jetko Radošević and uh, I will show you my gun store, orugie.com. Follow me, follow me guys. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, accessories for hunters, uh, for people who, who want to shoot, and but generally for people who want who likes outdoors, uh, these, these are the items like uh, um, a lamp, battery lamp, uh, and all different uh, accessories and tools that you can you can use uh, in the in the nature knives uh, optics uh, whatever whatever you need uh, for shooting we we have it here uh, on this wall uh, we have um, the weapons uh, people can choose people they can they can see try whatever they they like uh, here are the red dots uh, optics a uh, lot of also American products here. What's your most popular red dot? The most popular uh, are these uh, Hovo Suns like this. Yeah, these are the most popular. Most popular here. Uh, people are really love them. How much and, do they cost? Uh, they're around 300, 400 euros, something like that. That's but that's that's like average, average price. We also have a uh, good quality uh, bipods, as you can see. Uh, you cannot you cannot find these anywhere else but uh, in our store. Uh, it's a uh, American uh, Atlas bipod. Gun inventory. Yeah, we have uh, uh, Italian uh, Benelli Fair. Uh, this is sour, my favorite one. Uh, I also possess this one and use it uh, in in a, in a hunting for so many years. Uh, also, this is Italian Pietta. Uh, we also have uh, their Bergara, Czeska uh, Zbrojovka another Benelli. So it's mostly um, European uh, producers are, are here, uh, German, Italian, uh, Spanish, and a lot of um, six hour American guns. We have a lot of six hours. As you can see, I'm a huge fan of, of uh, these, uh, these guns, and it's uh, not easy to find them on Serbian market. Custom works guns, you see, uh, it's beautiful. So if you want uh, to buy something here in, in uh, Serbia, the most popular is uh, Česka Zbrojevka, is CZ, uh, as you can see here. Uh, those are all the models that uh, shooters, sports shooters are, are using. We have uh, hunting rifles, uh, we have uh, uh, like uh, sport shooting rifles for a long range, like uh, this one, as you can see. So we, uh, and uh, at this wall, you can see only uh, part of the um, items that we can uh, offer. People usually call us and they, they uh, order like uh, uh, specific uh, guns. It's very nice uh, Benelli rifle. It's uh, the best-selling model here. The, the prices are a little bit higher right now, especially after all this uh, situation uh, with energy crisis and the, all the prices are much higher. All of these six hours are very expensive here. Uh, it's uh, like a luxury item when you compare uh, to your market. I see you have a Glock in yeah. there. So what does a Glock 19 cost? Uh, Glock 19 uh, costs around uh, 1000 uh, euros here. Uh, this is a uh, used one. We also sell the used ones, but as you can see, it's um, really good, in very good shape. 18, 18. Uh, you can get the gun if you're 18. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, quite uh, okay, uh, uh, but you need to have like your um, your business. Uh, you need to have like a financial stability at first, and then you also need to uh, do like um, uh, medical uh, exams. Um, police officer will do the file check of um, uh, your residence and if everything is okay then you will get it even if you have if you are 18 then you'll be able to uh, to have it for if you are in service if you are in police but if you are just teenager then probably probably not but uh, if you have um, all other um, conditions uh, fulfilled then 
you don't have a problem uh, to get uh, to get to one. But I think at first uh, you need you need to to be the stable person, uh, no conflicts. Uh, you know, just just be good, a uh, good citizen. Then uh, you will you will get it. So if I walk in here, I'm 18 years old. I say, Zax, I want to buy a gun. How do I do that exactly? Explain that to mm -hmm. me exactly how I do that process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. So uh, you need to go first to police. Uh, you need uh, to uh, ask for permission to, to get the gun then. Uh, they will tell you what uh, documents you, you need uh, to collect. First of all is the medical exam. Uh, then after that you need also to check um, your police records. Um, you need to bring them um, like uh, uh, confirmation that uh, you didn't have, commit any crimes, uh, then that you don't have any uh, conflict or um, any open cases uh, on a court. So uh, once when it's all completed, then police officer will come to you and the police officer will do the file check. Uh, they will ask uh, um, your uh, neighbors uh, if you are a good person, how your, how's your uh, behavior, etc. And then if everything is okay uh, there, you can uh, get permission to, to buy one a gun. If you want to buy another, you need to do the same procedure again, uh, which is a little bit of uh, nonsense. And uh, there is a lot of people who try to, to change this, uh, this law. But it's a good, if you have like a five, uh, five uh, weapons, it can be gun, it can be um, uh, pistol or gun, whatever, uh, rifle. Uh, if you have like a uh, five, uh, Items, uh, then you can get uh, a permission, uh, which is called Collectioners uh, Catozvola, and uh, that means that you can buy uh, whatever uh, you like for the rest of your life. But uh, to get that uh, permission, you need to have like a double check of, of everything, and uh, but really deep check. You know, and uh, with that permission, there is a uh, yeah uh, certain lot of people who who has that uh, that uh, permission, and they are coming like a, in a candy store, and they say, ah, I want this, I want that, <laughs> and uh, there's a ticket uh, for you to to lose your your money because uh, once when you buy one gun, then you will continue um, another, and uh, you know I also have one, and I'm spending a huge amount of of money, and and as you can see, uh, the prices are really high uh, on this market. Uh, when we are talking about uh, these imported uh, guns, but generally uh, it's not a problem. You can easily uh, get uh, get the gun if everything is okay. So if you're a good uh, person, then you will get the gun. How long does that process take? It takes around one month. Okay, so not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. How do your gun laws compare with other European countries? Like, is it more restrictive, less restrictive? It's similar. Okay. It's really similar. Uh, there are minor differences, but uh, it's similar. We we need to comply to to EU uh, laws. So uh, when you compare uh, to the region, it's almost uh, the same. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about full auto? Can I have full auto no, here? No, no, no. Full auto is forbidden. Uh, you cannot uh, have it. Uh, it's only uh, reserved for uh, for military, for a special uh, forces, or some kind of a special um, companies that they're doing like uh, protection um, of uh, maybe person VIP persons transferring uh, money or similar. So no. for uh, for for uh, civilians, it's not allowed. You not cannot possess, okay. you cannot shoot, so full auto is forbidden. But it's a good mm -hmm. thing here in Serbia that we have a lot of uh, full auto converted to semi-auto, mm -hmm. which is good. If I wanted to sell a gun to a friend of mine, can I do that? Yeah, you can do that. You can do that. Uh, there is a law. Uh, you just create like a contract between uh, two of you guys and uh, you transfer the money and uh, that's it. It's really a simple process, but that friend, he needs also to possess uh, the um, license, uh, you know, for, for the gun and uh, permission to, to buy one. It's really popular here because uh, the prices are lower and the people are trading uh, between themselves. Uh, so that's the most uh, popular uh, way of, of uh, just uh, selling um, guns here. We also have uh, this type of, uh, you know, sell, uh, selling guns, we, we are buying from the people who wants to sell, like they are uh, unused and old uh, guns. For example, this one, this gun is uh, bought by, um, by us from the, from the person who didn't use it. Uh, and as you can see, it's uh, totally, it's like brand new. The price is like 300 euros 
um, lower than the regular price and uh, people will buy it. When uh, this type of weapon came uh, came in, we sell it in like seven days, and uh, we have um, average in average maybe like a three or four um, offers from the people daily uh, about uh, uh, these uh, used uh, weapons. A lot of inquiries about used Glock SIGs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not that much about SIGs. It's mostly about the Glock, about uh, uh, Zastava's uh, models. Um, and also about Cheska's Drek. Uh, we want to popularize uh, Six Hour uh, right now because that's a good rifle. I love it personally, as in you, you can see, we are talking a lot of uh, about these uh, pistols and I want to make it more popular here. Silencers, talk to me about it. Silencers, it's not uh, allowed uh, right now. Uh, there are some kind of uh, um, tries to, to use it uh, in a hunting, um, but um, it's not uh, it's not allowed yet. Uh, it, we need to change the law first, and then uh, it will be uh, used here. Uh, as you know, uh, in a lot of European countries, uh, they are allowed to, to be used in a, in a hunting, uh, and uh, because we want to have the similar uh, regulations here, we also want to have uh, silence. So I, I expect maybe in uh, following few years that we, it will be uh, available to buy it here and use. What are your most popular guns that you, you sell? Pop G, Zastavas. Zastavas mm -hmm. models are the most popular here uh, because it's Serbian product, it's uh, price is affordable for a lot of people and it's a cool gun. Yeah, this is my baby. Yeah, this is my Pop G. This is its uh, original form. Uh, when you buy it in a Zastava uh, or here, uh, you will get it uh, with uh, this uh, small magazine and this is considered uh, as a hunting rifle. Uh, according to Serbian law, you, you are allowed to uh, carry uh, 10 uh, rounds in this magazine. Made, made in Serbia, Zastava Oruji. And it's funny thing, uh, weapons. Uh, the, the name for our company is also Oruji. So we have Zastava Oruji and we are only Oruji. But I usually use this for uh, uh, for a range. What is the capacity restriction generally here? Is it 10 rounds and that's 10 rounds, a 10 rounds and handgun, and rifle? Uh, for, a, for a pistol, uh, it's 20 rounds. Um, for a hunting, 10 rounds. Uh, but the, if you go for a shooting range, you can uh, carry a magazine 30 or more capacity, but it's only for a shooting range. And uh, when you transfer this uh, in your car, uh, you need to disassemble uh, this gun. Uh, the ammunition needs to be separated from the rifle and uh, that's how it's uh, carried but when you uh, arrive to the shooting range then you can do whatever you like except semi out and yeah oh except full auto yeah full out yeah yeah sorry yeah except full out only semi out is allowed so it's perfectly legal to have a 30 round magazine yeah, yeah, you just yeah. can't have it in the gun yeah, if you just can can have it. Talk to me about the fireworks. Yeah, and uh, this fireworks is is amazing. Uh, it can shot uh, like for a few minutes, huge uh, fireworks, and it's uh, three hundred euros. The small ones here for a small party, but uh, if you want to surprise someone uh, with very good and uh, you get the big pig. Way. Yeah, you, you get the big pig, <laughs> and uh, you don't need. Uh, uh, anyone who's like specialist for this, you can buy it by yourself and then just fire it up and it will crack. Do you have to buy fireworks from a gun store? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you need to buy in a gun store. I mean, a gun store is specialized for, for this type of, um, uh, it's like explosive uh, um, item and uh, it needs to be uh, sold by a person who has a license for that and a gun store does it. You know, in the United States, we can just buy them from tents on the side of the road. Did you know that? Uh, no, no, I didn't. Yeah, know. yeah, yeah. They have, they have little uh, that's, tents. That's amazing. You yeah. Can buy, yeah. No, no. Here, here is different. Uh, we need to keep them in specialized uh, room. We have downstairs one room uh, that doesn't have electricity inside. It's uh, completely safe, so there is no any any way that uh, there'll be fire to to start to uh, burn it. So yeah, we need to. Uh, store in separate room and sell only in a specialized store like this. Uh, do I need a background check if I want to buy a firework? No, no, no. There is no background check. Uh, you can buy it freely, uh, but only if you are uh, above 18. So kids cannot uh, get it. Oh my God. Not even, not even the small uh, <laughs> firecrackers. This is the strongest uh, firecracker that you can find in, on Serbian market. Holy shit. Yeah, it's a eight gram of, of powder inside. It's huge, it's like a bomb. And all the kids, they want it. 
They how, just, how much do those cost each, like individually? Uh, not not the pack, a, but yeah, uh, one is uh, around one euro. Mm -hmm. A little bit oh, that's higher. Cheap. That's yeah. cheap. If if we wanted to go set one off outside right now, would we get in a lot of trouble? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We cannot do it here. <laughs> <laughs> it's really uh, time and place uh, restrictions. You cannot uh, fire it uh, in the middle of the city. People are doing it, but there is uh, a lot of problem there when they are doing it. Uh, usually, you need to do it in a safe place, uh, maybe somewhere out outside of the buildings. But uh, you know, people are doing different things. But according to law, you know, you cannot. Like you want to fire a uh, big pig inside of the city, you need to report that uh, to police, so everyone uh, knows about that. And when people start to calling them, they know uh, what's going on. Air guns are really, really popular. That's something that uh, people really uh, like like to buy. And uh, if uh, the speed uh, of the uh, the bullet uh, is uh, below 200 meters per second, then uh, you can just buy it by your uh, ID card and you don't need to report to police that you possess one. If it's stronger, if it's bigger, uh, then you need to, to uh, report. But people really love it. Uh, they like uh, to go to a shooting range to train the shooting and the price of the bullet is very, uh, is very cheap. So you put uh, here uh, like a small uh, bullet, and y you are you are good to, to go. Let me show you uh, downstairs. So, uh, we have we have an uh, area where uh, our customers can um, sit down, uh, have a talk, coffee, and uh, they can easily uh, look at the different uh, type of uh, of the guns, um, of the of the weapons. Yeah, we got a kitchen here, we're uh, making coffee and uh, here, uh, this is the place where we are sitting and uh, mostly like, uh, like a man when they are running away from their uh, wives. So we call this men's cave uh, and uh, we are sitting here talking about weapons, uh, checking different, different type of, of weapons and whatever uh, new came into Orugie, we are sitting here uh, maybe just uh, um, analyzing it. This is uh, M76. It was a uh, Yugoslav sniper uh, rifle, and it's made uh, actually uh, by uh, like a copy of Dragunov, Dragunov uh, sniper, and yeah, it was uh, and it's based uh, on a Kalashnikov system. Coolest thing is uh, original Yugoslavian uh, uh, optic for that. It's a uh, it's a uh, Zrak optics. It has also some kind of, some tritium inside. Uh, to illuminate. The funny thing uh, about this gun, it was uh, the present for our war journalist uh, Miroslav Lazansky. He was very, very uh, popular uh, in ex-Yugoslavia as a war journalist. So every child, everyone knows about uh, that guy. And then uh, he was ambassador in Russia and he died suddenly. So uh, this is uh, his weapon. If I wanted to buy an M76, uh, would that yeah. be possible? Yeah, no, it's not. Uh, it's not possible uh, right now. I'm talking uh, to a factory right now. We want to produce uh, some of these because they found some spare parts in the factory. Factory, and uh, I want uh, to have a few of them, uh, like in this original form, and to have uh, here in, in a store because uh, there is so many people interested in, into this. This is uh, this is a model M um, uh, eighty four. Uh, it's called Scorpion. Uh, it's uh, created based on original uh, Scorpion uh, from uh, Cheska Zbrojovka, um, and uh, Yugoslavia started producing, uh, based on that uh, license, uh, their own M eighty four automatic. This is a totally brand new, uh, brand new uh, pistol. I use it as a Actually, concealed carry. Uh, yeah, right now, yeah, exactly. It, it cannot be concealed, but uh, I put it, for example, in my bag if I if I need it or when I go to to shooting range. It is uh, registered as semi-automatic uh, gun. Talk to me about concealed carry because you mentioned you know you said yeah this is my concealed handgun. Yeah, gun. that's my concealed. It's very hard to get. Uh, yeah, it's very hard. Uh, uh, there is like uh, 500 maybe uh, concealed carry um, licenses in the entire Serbia. That's like seven million people, and only five hundred uh, can uh, can have it. It's uh, mostly used by by uh, person who, persons who have a huge reason to 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 have it. For example, I'm um, transferring a lot of uh, weapons and a lot of these expensive um, items, um, and uh, you know I need just to have it uh, to protect my store and 
that's why I why I have it. But uh, it's very hard to to get it. Uh, okay. People are usually have possess them for the self defense, and they just keep it at home. And also, you're not allowed to to uh, transfer the weapons. You can only go to the shooting range and the home, and that's it. And then you need to disassemble this and put in the special uh, like uh, box. Uh, separated from the ammunition. And uh, one more thing, uh, interesting thing, this is our um, uh, friend's uh, wall. So uh, with uh, old friends uh, that we are going for hunting, celebrating birthdays or something, uh, other we have, we put them on, on the wall. So uh, this is still like a small because we are a new company, but we expect soon that this wall will, will be huge. And uh, if we start uh, to work with uh, Zastvarns USA, I hope that there will be a lot of other with Ranko and you guys. So, Do I get to be on the friend's wall? Definitely. <laughs>